All right, today's holiday topic crossover for PTL and Talk Pittsburgh is holiday drinks. Ooh. And this morning, the sips we're about to sample tell a tale of holiday cheer with a, a touch of cheeky rebellion. It's jolly old St. Nick versus his green hued counterpart, the Grinch. And who better to take us on this Yuletide journey than Dave Kiawa? So what are we mixing up today? Well, today we are going head to head, Santa against the Grinch. And the first one we have up is called a Santa Clausmopolitan. Love and this. And David, I know this is one of your favorite uh, drinks. I know, so my ears have perked up already. Yes, absolutely. Cosmopolitan. Yes, so we're gonna start out with two ounces of Kettle One Vodka. Mm -hmm. Kettle One Vodka is a vodka made in the Netherlands. A half an ounce of Cointreau, which yes. is an orange liqueur. Which is the right France. way to do it. Don't do triple sec, do Cointreau. I agree completely. Okay. <laughs> Two and a half ounces of cranberry juice and a half an ounce of fresh lime juice. I'm pretty sure you have all of these ingredients at home, David. I do. I could make this in an instant. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I like yeah. how Dave thinks. Yeah. Yes. So we're going to put these into a shaker. Then we're going to pour them into the glass. Now, the martini glass that I have, I've rimmed it with a little bit of sparkling sanding sugar mm. to kind of make it look like a Santa's hat when oh. it's there. So this isn't just regular sugar. This is like fancier for like cookies and stuff. It right? is. Right? It is. Okay. You can get it at your local supermarket. It's just a sparkling sanding sugar. And then we're going to go ahead and put in a little cranberries on oh, the edge. Oh, look how pretty that as looks. As a garnish. Hey, and here you go. This Santa is like fantastically done, Dave. And I, you know what? David just said on our walk over here to Studio B, he said, you know, you've had this tickle in your throat. Maybe you need a drink. I think it's going to go away. <laughs> David's it, cure. It hurt you. <laughs> David's cure for everything is vodka. You don't feel well? <laughs> Why does I took a drink? Dr. David in the house. <laughs> I do say that sometimes. I think Dr. David says, give it a try. So let's try yeah. our Grinch cocktail. Yeah, What's this so, one called? So Grinch cocktail, or as I call it, the cocktail oh. that stole Christmas. So we're going to start out with one and a half ounces of Maduri. So what Maduri is, is a Japanese melon liqueur, almost oh. kind of like a honeydew liqueur. Really delicious. Wow. And we're going to do a half an ounce of Grey Goose vodka, one ounce of pineapple juice. And then finally, we're going to top it off with a little bit of, you can use any dry sparkling wine. I use the Calabrigio's Caligniano Voldobiadene Prosecco. I'm sorry, what? can you say that again? It's a Caligniano's <laughs> Voldobiadene uh, Prosecco. All right. That was fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and pour in the Grinch part of it. Impressive. And then we're going to top it off with a little bit of that Prosecco. Just use about an ounce. Oh, look at you go, David. <laughs> I just, I, when I like a drink, you know. <laughs> you go in. I we're like halfway it. through the show, right? The, the Cosmos are going <laughs> down today. Watch out. This Perfect. is delicious, Dave. I feel Perfect. better already. I'm not going to lie. Well, yeah. I, I, it's a magical potion. <laughs> Let's see what you think of the Grinch cocktail. And okay. then as a little garnish, I just put a little Grinch hat on there. Okay. Which is oh, basically cute, a cherry. cute. Yeah. All right, I cheers. 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 You know what? And I love the Grinch. Because I've never heard of this, this green stuff before. Yes, Maduri. Oh, isn't that fun? Isn't it nice? So now That's you have a, a little, little tropical drink. essence. You have the yeah, melon. Yeah, the melon. You have the pineapple juice, and it all kind of comes together. And then the Prosecco, because it's yes. very dry, kind of cuts through that. Yeah, but it gives it that little bit of sparkliness, the yeah. bubbliness. Of, yeah. Oh, I love bit. that. I All think right. yeah. this might be good for you, too. I, yes. You know, yeah. the Grinch is not my favorite, you know, because he steals Christmas, but this might be my favorite drink. Nice. We'll, yeah. we'll go with all it. All right. Hey, nice. we want to talk to you about gift ideas. Right. Yes. Yeah, so right? we, we all have that hard to buy person mm -hmm. on our list. Mm -hmm. So at Fine Wine and Good Spirits, we have a lot of different gift ideas. I brought three of them here today. So if we like a say a bottle of alcohol, mm -hmm. what's better than getting some free things with it? So if you have a Jim Beam lover, for example, on your list, this well, time of that, year yeah. we get in these um, like holiday gift, gift samplers, mm -hmm. exactly. So this Jim Beam, it has a fifth of Jim Beam straight bourbon and it comes with a free glass. And there's also a little recipe on the back too. It is, and it's yeah. priced exactly the same as the regular bottle, so you oh, can't really? beat it. it truly so it's truly is a bargain. Free Stop. It's oh, that's stuff. awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move over here. So let's think of uh, stocking stuffers. Mm -hmm. These little Martini and Rossi Asti Spumantes go perfect in the stocking. Everybody loves them. And if they don't get used up over Christmas, you now have a little pop, sparkle, and fizz for New Year's Eve. You know, it's perfect. All Mama wants in her stocking is a little bottle of champagne. Get me through the day, please. Okay. <laughs> All, All right. And then finally, if we have someone that we just can't buy for, no matter what, we can't please yeah. them, the Fine Wine and Good Spirits gift cards are perfect. 
These can be loaded with any denomination in any store. It can be used in all 620 of our stores, Commonwealth wide. Seriously, put one of these in <laughs> and like a little juice box of orange juice. Really? You know? Is that all you want? And then you can just. There you go. I've been trying to figure and out what like, to get And you're like, make your own. You can make your own mimosa. It's, it's, a, mix it's a mommy together. mimosa. Right? It's a mommy mimosa on Christmas morning. <laughs> Dave, right. I say cheers to you. Yes, Thank cheers. you so much Guys. for joining Thank us as this. always. Yes, and for you. these cocktail recipes and more from Fine Wine and Good Spirits, just go to our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com. And as always, remember to drink responsibly. Absolutely. You should say that.